What's going on everyone? TJ, Fitness Deal News Reviews, and together with me, right here from the world's only FDA proof bunker, Gaspari Nutrition, Super Pump Aggression, Aggression people, listen people, listen, I suggest you stay tuned for the experience part of this review, yeah, I'm just saying, spoiler alert, spoiler alert fucking alert. Listen people, I'm gonna take you through the label, I'm gonna try and be quick about it. And then I'm actually gonna share with you my personal experience using this one over the last couple of weeks. And then, towards the end of the video, as usual on this channel, I'm gonna give you my final verdict should you still actually give a shit by then. And all I'm gonna ask in return, by the way, for this entire magnificent journey is that you hit that like button. Okay guys, so believe it or not, I do believe that this is the first Gaspari Nutrition anything I'm reviewing here on the channel. Gaspari used to be one of the biggest brands, actually one of the OG brands in the supplement industry. They've been around for a while. Super Pump Aggression, actually Super Pump is their original pre-workout. It used to come, I think it's been around for like 10 years probably. Some of the versions, the original versions had DMAA in them. It went through a lot of stuff. People, people loved it. I mean, people swear by Gaspari Nutrition, really one of the originals in the supplement industry. Hardcore, every day, you name it. Anyway, but this is the first time I've reviewed a Gaspari Nutrition anything, really. So Super Pump Aggression, I didn't even know what to expect from this one, to be honest. And you know, the brand, just the brand has been sort of out of the spotlight for such a long time. Anyway, people, listen. We are here in the world's only FDA-proof bunker. By the way, now let's take a moment to fuck the FDA. Fuck you, FDA. Seriously. Seriously. Hoardening, DMAA, DMHA, that's what's bothering you. That's what's stop agenda. Not opioids. Not fucking people abusing alcohol and, and whatever. Cocaine, hor heroin, shit like that. That's what's on your agenda. Hoardening. Fuck the FDA. Priorities, people. Anyway, people. Here in the FDA proof bunker, by the way, the world's only FDA proof bunker. We invested billions into an FDA proof bunker, so the FDA has no authority here. Okay, listen, as far as what's in this thing, I like the design, by the way. Solid, not too crazy. I like it. Anyway, as far as what's in it, so LC trillion at 4 grams, so that's gonna help you theoretically with pumps. Beta alanine 3.2 grams. We like the tingling that comes with beta alanine. Supposed to be other stuff that beta alanine is go gonna help you with. We just like the tingling. If you don't like the tingling, by the way, and you're new to the channel, you're not gonna be very good friends. You can stay, subscribe, like the video, do, do all the things that you're supposed to do. But we're not gonna be good friends because we like the tingling. Anyway, then they have beta and hydrous at 2 grams. It's a solid amount of beta and hydrous. gonna help you with pumps, muscle protein synthesis, power endurance, a bunch of stuff. Agmatin sulfate at one gram, one and a half grams. Actually, that's a solid combo with the L-citrulline. Usually, when you have good quality L-citrulline together with good quality agmatin, usually that's enough for me to get a good pump going. Then you have L-tyrosine at, what is it? 1.5 grams, supposed to help you with focus. Caffeine at 400 milligrams, solid amount of caffeine, right? Like that's on the steam junkiness verge. Like if you're an everyday guy, you're... you're new to pre-workouts you're gonna see 400 milligrams of caffeine you're gonna freak out say oh my god why do i need 400 milligrams of caffeine these people are crazy they're gonna die no you're not gonna die chill chill the fuck down you're not gonna die by the way this is not medical advice you might die no you're not but you might i don't give a fuck okay uh pea at 300 milligrams interesting so when i saw this when i actually looked through the label before uh starting recording this review i was saying okay interesting these guys actually put some thought into this shit yeah you never know labels are just fucking labels labels are just fucking labels i i you know i tried crazy ass uh pre-workouts on label that had all sorts of shit and i felt nothing because people People just fuck you over, right? Like they won't put the stuff that they say in the label. You never know the quality of the ingredients. You never know how all this shit come together. Labels are just labels. But one thing I'll tell you about labels, when I look at a label like this and I say, okay, these people actually know what they're talking about and they put some thought into it. Maybe they'll fuck you over with what they actually put in it, but at least the label shows that they know what a pre-workout should look like. Okay, theobromine, 200 milligrams. Again, I love this combo. I love the combo of the PEA. I love the combo of the teobromine. I love the co combo with the 400 milligrams of caffeine. I just like it. Then they have choline at uh, 100 milligrams. So that actually would show you that they don't know what they're doing unless 
they meant something that I don't know because choline at 100 milligrams is not going to do anything. But maybe they had some other, uh, other thing in mind, which I don't know. DMAE, another focus ingredient for 100 milligrams, that's another low amount. Theoretically, this choline and DMAE is not going to do a lot. But let me tell you something, labels are just fucking labels. You never know, stay tuned, I told you. Okay, black pepper for uh, absorption, and then they have alpha yo at 3 milligrams. 3 milligrams alpha yo. So, a couple of things. One, alpha yo, 3 milligrams for me. Like, when I saw this, I said, shit, this is going to be a shit experience. But I told you to wait. Yeah. Because 3 milligrams is sort of on the higher end of alpha yo for me when I start feeling more side effects than the good of alpha yo. 2 milligrams, 1.5 milligrams. But with alpha yo, and the ones of you that try pre workouts with alpha yo, you know, the quality, the purity of alpha yo really matters. Like, you can have 1 milligram that feels like 3, and you can have 3 that feels like 1. So stay tuned, people. Labels are just labels. Yeah. Okay, then they have Uperzin to take all the absorption ingredients and bring them together. Another thing, by the way, with Alpha Yo is that if you have PEA, the half life of PEA, which PEA is again, is like the, I didn't mention that, but it's like a mood inducing, focus type ingredient. In order, the half life of PEA is very, very short, like 10 minutes. In order to keep it longer, you need something that will hold it. Alpha Yo actually has, ingre has capabilities to hold on, on PEA. So anyway, listen, people, this is, this is a very interesting label with some funky quantities of some of the ingredients, but with others uh, that are actually really interesting. But at the end of the day, labels don't matter. People, labels don't matter. Okay, people, let's get into the experiences. As you know, in this channel, right? On this channel, we have the zero oral activity guarantee. So we're not going to suck any Gaspari dick. You're going to get it as it is. Okay. Let's start with the flavor. I tried two flavors. I tried the gang Gangster Grape, which is a grape flavor, and I tried the Fruit Punch one. Both of them were okay. The Gangsta Rape... Uh, the Gangsta Rape... Shit. The Gangsta Grape is a bit better. I would say both of them are tolerable. You're not gonna give a shit. It's okay. Listen, it's just a flavor. You're gonna take it for one second and move on with your life. You're expecting a lot from this thing. On a scale of 1 to 10, though, for the both flavors, Come closer, I'm gonna, I want to give you the... Come, yeah, yeah, come closer, don't be afraid. I want to give you the scale of 1 to 10 for flavors. <gasps> Fuck your scale of 1 to 10 for flavors. Seriously, if you're looking here, if you came here for this video, and if this is your first time on the channel, and you want a scale of 1 to 10 for flavors, fuck off my channel. Who the fuck cares? As long as it's tolerable, as long as it's not disgusting, who cares? You drink it for one second, you move on for your life, with your life. If this was a great flavor, it's a bonus, but who cares? Seriously. Okay, people. Let's get into the experience. Okay, so like I told you, this, this hit took me by surprise. This totally took me by surprise. And I saw a couple of the other reviews, GGH and a couple of others, and I was, I said, maybe these guys were smoking. But let me tell you this. This thing, okay. Okay, so this is how it works. 10 minutes in, this thing slaps the fuck out of you and tells you to go. Like you feel there's some alpha yo here. By the way, I don't think there's three milligrams or if there's three milligrams, it's a very subtle alpha yo because you feel the sense of urgency of alpha yo, but you don't feel three milligrams of alpha yo side effects. Not even close. To a large extent, if you didn't, if you told me there's no alpha yo, I wouldn't even know that it's in there, right? That's just to show you, just shows you about labels. So, but anyway, 10 minutes in, 10 minutes in, you don't even go through the beta alanine tingling phase. Actually, there's very mild beta alanine tingling. You feel that sort of beta alanine buzz, I want to say, not even tingling. But 10 minutes in, this shit slaps you. Slaps you out of wherever you are. And it's a, let's just go. This is the type of energy it gives you, let's just go. You feel 400 milligrams of caffeine, boom, right away. You feel something else around this. And this is a very get shit done energy for like 10 minutes in, up to like, whatever, I don't know, like an hour, right? Very, get shit done, go, go, and unbelievable, like really focus. Now you don't need more energy, you're not, you're not, your heart rate is gonna go up, but you're not gonna go in survival mode, right? Like you're not gonna be afraid for your life, but it's just the right amount of energy, good, wake you up, this is perfect. If you, if you're the type of person that want to get something that kick you, kick your butt and get you moving, this will get you moving. You're not gonna stop between sets. Anyway. Then, after like, I want to say 40 minutes, there's this feel good, I almost want to say mood elevation, almost mood elevation and focus combined, which I, God help me, I don't know how they figure to do this 
with a label like this. There's no DMHA here, there's no DMA. This is theoretically an everyday pre-workout. It has no illicit uh, ingredients. There's no Araya, there's no DMHA, there's nothing, right? Nothing, nothing. DMBA, whatever. If you would tell me that this actually is a steam junkie pre-workout with DM stuff, I would believe you. Because 40 minutes in, about 40 minutes in, you're gonna get this focus mood elevation buzz that you're sort of used to get from this DMHA stuff. And it's last, it, it will last you for about another hour. And then you get a post-workout buzz, which is sort of that feel-good post-workout. Zero side of... Listen, I don't know how this shit actually came together. This is really strange to me. Long-lasting energy starts kick-ass and then plateaus. Doesn't crash, but then, you know, starts like, boom, then goes like this and stays like this. And then 40 minutes in, you get the addition of that mood elevation and focus. Man... They, listen, if you're looking to cycle off DM whatever, assuming they didn't actually, I don't think they put it in here. If you're looking to cycle off DM whatever, and you're looking for an everyday pre-workout that you could take without being afraid that you're pussying out, so to speak, man, this is, this is one of my favorite everyday pre-workouts. I was so surprised. And listen, this experience was consistent. I tried it four times with, uh, over the last couple of weeks. And this is consistent. I don't know what's in it. Listen, labels are just fucking labels. This is a proof. Labels are just fucking labels. This is, listen, again, this is the experience. Start energy. Go, 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 go. Mood elevation and focus stays with you. Tapers off really, really nicely and slow. You're going to feel the post-workout. Man, I, listen, this is really up there as far as everyday pre-workouts. This is amazing. I, listen. If you're looking for something to cycle off or you're looking for just for an everyday pre-workout, you really want to give this one a try. I just like it. Man, unbelievable. Like what they've managed to do with theoretically, on paper, a label like this. Listen, people. As far as we can find it, I'm going to link below to the page on Fitness D News where we find the best coupons from all over the web to get yourself some, save some money while supporting the channel. Listen, people. If this review was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more reviews like this because this is what we do here.